Hey ladies and gentlemen, how are we doing today? You wanted to tune into this video because you were curious on one of the top five most popular neighborhoods right here in Staten Island, New York. Well, here we go. <laughs> Now, before we get into the top five most popular neighborhoods right here in Staten Island, New York, there's one thing you really should do. You should hit on that subscribe button down below and click on that bell so every time I put out a new video, you're going to be notified right away. And hey, let's face it, I'm going to be doing a lot more of these videos talking about a lot of different things right here about Staten Island, New York. Things like best parks, best golf courses, best place to go get a burger. Or pizza slice all those but you got to hit the subscribe button now that we got that out of the way let's get right into why exactly you tuned in to this video here are the top five most popular neighborhoods right here in Staten Island New York hey my name is George Wanaka and I'm an agent here with search Staten Island Realty powered by Wanaka Realtors and Appraisers I'm a real estate agent right here in Staten Island New York so I get it, I get it. Some of you might be watching this video and saying, hey George, where do you come off saying what's the most popular neighborhood in Staten Island? Well, I'm not saying that it is at all. What I'm doing is going off the data. And the data over the last two years shows that these five neighborhoods have been the most amount of sales in right here in Staten Island, New York. Number five, Tottenville comes in as number five on the most popular neighborhoods right here in Staten Island, New York. Tottenville, which is located on the south shore of Staten Island, boasts some of the nicest streets and areas around Staten Island. You get a combination of older homes, remodeled homes, and brand new construction or what they refer to as McMansions. Most of Tottenville are primarily one family detached houses where 147 properties over the last two years were detached one family homes. Another positive is Tottenville's relation to a community pool is seen here as well as your bigger, older, new construction properties as you're looking at this video currently. Tottenville is definitely one of the nicest places on Staten Island to live in, which is why Tottenville has checked in at number five on this list. There is not an abundance of one family attached houses or semi-attached houses in Tottenville. They're actually very hard to find. Most of these homes, as you can see by this video, are primarily ranches and detached houses, as well as those McMansions that we discussed earlier. Another reason which makes Tottenville a very nice place to live, whether it be the shopping, whether it be on Amboy Road, or the South Shore Commons or Bricktown Center. So, Tottenville is definitely one of the easiest access to shopping as well as a lot of dining opportunities as well. As you can see in this video, there is more than ample shopping in these neighborhoods, which is why Tottenville comes in on our list today as number five. Number four, Westerly comes in at the number four most popular neighborhoods right here in Staten Island, New York. As you can see, Westerly is one of the older neighborhoods on Staten Island with Westerly Park, as you're seeing right here, being an integral part of its community. A lot of Westerly is located below Jewett Avenue, although many of the homes that are below Jewett Avenue are on the older side. However, you do see on occasion some newer constructions 
being put forth. The other nice thing about Westerly is the diverse styles throughout any given street. In some cases, you have a lot of capes and then all of a sudden, colonials. It's a very diverse style of homes located here in Westerly. While Westerly checks in at the number four most popular neighborhoods right here in Staten Island, Westerly has led Staten Island over the last two years in single family homes sold in 248 homes in that time frame. Westerly is also known for its corridor on Victory Boulevard with a number of different shops, restaurants, and others. Well, there's one big thing about Westerly that I, quite frankly, I'm a little bit biased about. I love Westerly, and quite frankly, part of the reason why is, well, I live in Westerly. So to me, it's always one of the top five, regardless of whether it actually officially is or whether it's not. But for our list today, Westerly checks in at the number four most popular neighborhood right here in Staten Island. Number three. Checking in at number three on our top five most popular neighborhoods. Yep, you got it. It's Eltingville. Eltingville boasts that old town feel where you can drive down Richmond Avenue and see whether it be your local pub, a local deli, grocer, or anything else that you're quite frankly looking for at that given point. Eltingville fits a lot of things for people, which is why it checks in at number three. Eltingville also has the train station that takes it down to St. George. Between these transportation options, as well as shopping options, is one of the reasons why Eltingville checks in at number three. Where Eltingville differs from our last two areas is that Eltingville has a very close amount of one-family semi-attached houses as well as predominantly one-family detached houses. Again, our styles in Eltingville are very similar to others in Staten Island. You have ranches, you have colonials, you have Victorians, you have pretty much every type of home that you want to look to find out there in Eltingville, which is why Eltingville is one of those areas that checks in at his number three. Number two. Annadale checks in as the number two most popular neighborhood right here in Staten Island, New York. Just like the other areas that filled out our top five, Annadale has a plethora of shopping, as well as transportation, as well as dining issues, which makes it one of the more attractable areas on Staten Island. It's located on the south shore of Staten Island as well. Annadale also boasts a lot of one-family detached homes, such as colonials and some high ranches and raised ranches, but Annadale also has something that not a lot of other ones do, which is a, a very close to equal amount of one family semi-attached houses. Annadale is one of those areas that is just an eclectic search of houses as well as the style of houses. So any style of house you're looking for, you're probably gonna be able to find it right out there on the South Shore in Annadale.
here it is. The number one most popular neighborhood right here in Staten Island is Great Kills checks in as the most popular neighborhood right here in Staten Island. Now, Great Kills has a lot of those same factors that a lot of those ones in the top five all have. They've got wonderful shopping opportunities, access to transportation in the Great Kills train station, as well as some of the nicest homes that are on Staten Island. Great Kills contains one family detached homes, one family semi-attached homes, as well as one family attached homes. So literally, it's an eclectic style of homes. Anytime or anything that people want to look for, you're going to be able to find it in Great Kills. A lot of things make sense in this top five, as Great Kills and Eltingville are sister neighborhoods, which is why both of them are within each other in the top five. Great Kills finished as one, and Eltingville finished at number three. As you can see, the shopping as well as transportation issues that come with both of those areas only help to enhance the overall general feel of both of those communities. And that's all we have for today. Those were the top five most popular neighborhoods right here in Staten Island, New York. I want to thank you for watching this video and please hit that subscribe button because as I said, I'm going to be doing a lot more of these videos on what it is to live here in Staten Island, New York. Again, my name is George Wanaka. I'm a real estate agent here, right here in Staten Island, New York. And if you have any questions on anything that we talked about in this video, or maybe you want to see any other areas, I'll do a personalized video for that individualized area. All you got to do is either send me a text message or send me an email at the, at the information listed below, and I'll do my best to get back to you. We love working with our clients to find them exactly the house that they're looking for as well. We work with clients from throughout the nation, and not only that, also internationally as well. So we're here for you. We're here to try to help you learn about living right here in Staten Island, New York. And we'll see you next time.